to resolution. Follow this man. <laughs> well, well done, well, you. Um, let's have a look at it. And I love that you've done a really kind of technological look at the papers this morning. We're starting with the Telegraph um, about tech firms. Mm. Is this, where is that? Yeah, just, it? just at the bottom there. there so yeah. it's, a, it's an interesting one for me because we always I talk a lot about tech and about digital transformations and companies and all sorts of stuff. But actually, what we're finding is we might find that 2019 is the year of culture. And when tech companies have to look at themselves, and they have to think, actually, what are we doing this for? Are we doing this for good reasons? Because this, this little lovely little story is pointing out that a lot of people uh, will be leaving tech companies if they don't start doing things that are good. I mean, what this is really talking about is that uh, uh, Google and other companies right. have found that their tech uh, engineers are leaving because of, of bad things that potentially they've been doing. So diversity is going to be key in the future, so 2019. Time for culture, time for diversity in tech companies, and time for maybe them looking at themselves. You know, so techy might be tech stuff might be great, but actually it's always powered by people. And also, I mean, it makes huge amounts of money as well, doesn't it? So you know, where's that? You know, I suppose questions could be asked by where's that money going? Yeah, well, exactly that. Not only that, but are they making a big enough change for society? And I think that's the key thing. Can we use technology for good? And can tech people and tech companies get better? And I believe they can. This is the time for change. OK. Um, this is a great story. Look <laughs> at this young man, the boy with the golden arm. Do you want to explain a little bit about well, this? And this, again, is about technology. Absolutely. Well, you know, technology is coming in. You know, I've decided that this is the time for to be pointing out these great stories. This is a, a, a gentleman, actually, Jamie Mullen, who's the, who's the young guy there. His dad learned how to use a 3D printer and therefore been printing him these, these, uh, these arms, these prosthetic arms, these limbs. Uh, he's doing it himself. Uh, they've done nine different arms so far. Uh, and this is a great example of, you know, 3D printing, going into someone's home and making a massive difference. So technology can do good stuff. So he's been printing these off for his son, uh, you know, for years and years and years. And in fact, actually, his son gets involved in the process and gets to put different things on them. Does it? I mean, look at all the different arms, different colours, and presumably, I don't know, are they, are they all are they slightly different or they can do different things? Well, they're looking to update them, update them right. each time they kind of create a new one. But I think a lot of those changes are. I think the gold one is particularly fantastic. Uh, has has kind of, you know has a lovely uh, LED lights on and flashing stuff. Right. On it, so and he's hoping what, that he can help other people as well. Yeah, exactly. And they're hoping they can do more and more upgrades and make them better and better. But I just thought it was lovely that you know 3D printing and this kind of revolution that's coming around with manufacturing is actually affecting people's houses and their, their homes, which I think is. Oh, Oh, wonderful story. Is it expensive 3D printing? Um, well, the thing is here, actually, it's saying it's the exact opposite. It would have been 18 months' wait and would have cost them lots and lots of money, but actually doing it by themselves has meant there'd be no wait and actually cost about a tenth of the amount. So it's quite amazing. Brilliant. Um, this is about I mean, robots and coral reefs. What do they have in common? Well, the lovely thing here is that you know we go from prosthetic limbs and, and individuals to actually can we save the world? And we're hoping that using robots we can save the Great Barrier Reef. And what they're looking to do is use kind of like almost IV it says here, almost IVF-like techniques, and they're going to be uh, transplanting. Uh, coral lava mm. inside the coral so actually to you know revitalize it but of course to do this is on scale you need a robot to do it so they've created this new robot submarine that can go in and, and literally start building up this coral again and, and planting the coral into the coral reef so we could save the great barrier reef which of course is going to be key to the survival of the whole thing the, my favorite bit here is there's a quote here at the end i think this beautifully sums up 2019 we've got to at least try says the scientist and i think that's absolutely right <laughs> you're full of optimism today I aren't you? Well, How lovely. happy new year Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Maybe we should just uh, try, and, try and do an optimistic look at the papers. Every it is difficult, though. <laughs> um, let's look at the... And this is about uh, pacemakers as well. This is a, another lovely story. Uh, this is actually about potentially hoping... Well, hoping to help people with uh, epilepsy. Um, and it's a brain pacemaker, if you're going to make it. This is, for mm. me, the stuff of a madman's dream. This is, you know, five years ago, we could never have done this. They can now create this thing. I think it's called WAND, which I think is a wonderful uh, name for it, because it's a wireless... Artifact-free neuromodulation device. <sighs> I managed to say it. I'm very wow. Happy. Yeah. Um, and because it's wireless, because it's automated, it has a very, very subtle way of changing the brain. So as it feels this epileptic uh, seizure go on or come on, yeah. it changes the brain formatting, um, which is an amazing thing you can do. So they've popped it inside people, and now we can make a difference. Now, yes, yeah, it's all to do with subtle brain waves. It's, it's amazing what they can do nowadays. I can't, I can't believe it. Okay. Um, this is not just a test. It's actually going out there. So hopefully we can help people with epilepsy as well with technology. Is there no end to it? Well, I'm hoping not. This is the year that technology can prove it can do good as well as bad. Oh, OK, and what about technology and all of us spending too much time on it? Ah, well, that, that might be the next thing we'll have to look at, is are we spending too long on our phones? But again, that could also be seen as a good thing. Remember, using your mobile phone, you could use it to start your own business, do different. Talk to a friend today, text someone, tell them that you love them, use social media to do so. It's always a positive. <laughs> 
<laughs> you are literally infectious with your optimism. I'm very glad you were the guest for New Year's Day, Dan. Lovely to see you as always. Thank you very much. Um,